नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल Finally that time of the year has come when we will start having our discussion on the yearly predictions yearly theme for the year 2025 Now guys if i were to summarize this word in one line i would say what a year it is year filled with camaraderie brotherhood and humanitarianism your inner light is going to be getting awakened this year so guys uh, before we will get into the customized results specific to your rising sign we will try to understand that how major planets are going to be behaving in this year so definitely we will first start with how the hindu lunar year calendar calculations is saying something for this year so guys our hindu calendar like generally the new year starts from the chatra shukla pratipada which as per in the year 2025 is going to be beginning on the march 30th of 2025 now it is important to know because through this we will get to know that who is going to be the king of this year so like the hindu calendar which will start from the march 30th of uh, 2025 and will be there till april 4th 2026 so during this year because it is going to be falling on a sunday so the king of the year is going to be the planet sun and the mantri the minister of this year is going to be the planet moon now guys whenever sun and moon somehow take the precedence over there you will definitely find a synchronicity between the ruler and the masses second thing is that we also get to know little bit about the year from the samvatsar calculation as well like the way this year which is filled with like the year 2024 which is filled with war and just from the like the hindu calendar calculation a lot was already predicted by many vedic astrologers because um, the minister the king the samvatsar samvatsar was angry krodhi minister king was also saturn and mars now if i were to talk about for this samvatsar the name of the samvatsar is vishva vasu so that also tells about prosperity taking care of the people like the way it has been believed that those people who are born even in this samvatsar they tend to demonstrate very virtuous qualities so so far we got to know from the hindu calendar calculation that during this year there is going to be a synchronicity between the sun the primal light and the moon with our subconsciousness the collective way of thinking and behaving along with that guys now if you want to understand it from what numerology has to say so year 2025 if you are going to be making a sum total of it so you will get the universal year as the number 9 now guys in numerology 9 is somehow connected with the brotherhood which is connected with the philanthropy and humanitarianism so all these are the qualities which will somehow be taking a precedence second thing is that even if you want to understand the somehow the theme of this year so you have to go down the memory lane like the way the very last time when we have had this universal year it was in the year 2016 you will make a sum total you will get the number 9 now even the highlight or the theme of that year was people say that okay number 9 has got something to do with leaving with finishing ending all those things which are not serving any purpose now what was the major highlight of the year 2016 Brexit we all know about uh, UK leaving European Union and like the way uh, in the US elections uh, Russia was um, being involved for the spying and all so somehow similar theme can also repeat over this year but guys the good part is that public is going to be a part of whatever the people in the power are going to be behaving there is definitely going to be a unison a harmony over there so that is all what i can say from from the vedic calculation from the numerology now we will try to look at how the three major players in this year are going to be behaving first is the planet saturn then planet jupiter and then our favorite rahu and ketu 
सो गाइज सैटन इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रांजिटिंग इन द साइन ऑफ स्पाइसिस ऑन मार्च थर्टी एथ नाउ हाउ कैन यू लुक एट दिस ट्रांसिट सो गाइज द हाईलाइट ऑफ दिस ट्रांसिट इज गोइंग टू बी इट विल डेफिनेटली टेक अवर अटेंशन टूवर्ड्स द कंसर्न्स ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल ग्रोथ इंट्यूटिव इंसाइट इमोशनल मेच्योरिटी कार्मिक रेजोल्यूशन यू विल डेफिनेटली फाइंड दैट लॉट मेनी पीपल आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पिरिचुअलिटी अबाउट मेंटल हेल्थ अबाउट देयर राइट्स and guys the good part is that trust me i will not be surprised if this year you will witness lot many cult group which will be coming into forefront because along with this rahu is also going to be making a foray in the aquarius a typical sign of bohemia of humanitarianism so like the way there used to be a time in the 60s when there was a wave of the hippie culture so we could the world could expect the same wave of rising cult and hippie culture in the year 2025 as well because we cannot overlook that you have to study everything in synchronicity with the numerology vibration as well and number 9 has got a lot to do with the giving away things uh, where you do not get too much interest in that rat race of the materialism so combining saturn's presence in the pisces along with the numerology vibration rahu's presence definitely spirituality and a new age spirituality is going to be the highlight of the year 2025 along with that guys um saturn from over here from the pisces sign is going to be giving its third aspect to the taurus sign now definitely saturn's third aspect is always a very restraining force so it can definitely pull a lot many investors are going to be pulling out their money from the market the global market or economy could be little bit restrained in the year 20 25 from over here saturn is going to be giving its straight aspect to the virgo sign so health care will definitely experience a boost in the year 2025 where you will definitely find the governments and this could be united nations and all these organizations are going to be very accountable very responsible towards any of the health crisis like there is a very less kind of possibility of any pandemic kind of situation which the world has witnessed when rahu was transiting in the gemini in 2019 2020 which we have witnessed all of that along with that saturn is going to be giving its 10th aspect the aspect with which it rewards us for our good karma so with its 10th aspect saturn is going to be looking at the sagittarius sign so one thing is for sure guys that next year if let's say for example you are a kind of person who is known for integrity ethics values morals and you somehow hold this potential to educate enlighten and inspire the world and if you are actually consistently diligently working hard in that direction so saturn's transit in the pisces will definitely reward you so somehow this transit and its highlight or theme is going to be that all those people who are unconditionally doing something which is very voluntary work some sort of social work who are devoted towards the awakening of the inner spiritual light health care related concerns and all those people are definitely going to be getting benefited in the year 2025 because of the blessing and grace of the planet saturn now guys the global events which you have to watch out for because of the contribution of the planet saturn is going to be the water related disaster increased regulation of pharmaceutical and health care industries breakthrough in marine biology oceanography aquatic technologies growing social movements for emotional intelligence mental health awareness and spiritual freedom economic shift in industries related to art entertainment or spirituality when we talk about which sectors or people are definitely going to be getting benefited because of the contribution of the planet saturn so you will definitely see that there is going to be innovative solutions for the ocean conservation in the year 2025 advancement in the holistic healthcare global unity through shared spiritual or cultural experiences increased empathy in international relations renaissance of traditional art forms and cultural heritage 
एंड गाइज लाइक एवरी ईयर फ्रॉम जुलाई थर्टीन टिल नवंबर ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ सैटन इज गोइंग टू बी रेट्रोग्रेड इन द पाइस साइन ओनली विच विल डेफिनेटली सम हाउ गिव इट मोर चेस्टेबल यू विल डेफिनेटली हैव द पावर ऑफ एफर्ट पावर ऑफ एंड्योरेंस टू फोर्टिफाई द इंटेंट or this could be the humanitarian intent with which you will be working when saturn is going to be transiting in the and it is going to be retrograde in the pisces sign now guys when we talk about from the point of view of the planet jupiter the planet of blessing good fortune expansion jupiter is the planet which gives us hope optimism and prosperity in all areas of our life now jupiter is definitely in a very sensitive situation rather i would say it's in a rush to finish its stay or its transit in the gemini because guys uh, jupiter is going to be transiting in the gemini sign on like may 13th from may 13th like imagine it will enter the cancer sign on october 19th now definitely it is going to be turning retrograde again on november 12th and then again it will enter back in the gemini in the december 5 but my concern over here is that imagine the pace of jupiter from may 13th till october 19th so the point which i'm trying to say over here is that jupiter's placement and its transit in the gemini will give results in a very fast paced way whatsoever jupiter's promise is going to be in the gemini in your chart in your life you will get the results in a very fast paced way and let's say for example if you have already important inner planets being placed in the gemini in your natal chart you are also in the jupiter dasha experience a blast of the results when in next year from may 13th till october 19th now for all those people who are in any capacity connected with the fields of uh, technology sales media networking communication these are among those people who will definitely get benefited next year when jupiter is going to be transiting in the gemini sign so guys uh, some of the probable outcome could be in the form of the explosion of the information it is going to be extremely blessed time for the creators in year 2025 you will definitely experience a breakthrough in artificial intelligence robotics and cyber security advancement in 5g 6g quantum computing and social media will evolve like the way no one would have imagined and there is definitely going to be virtual and augmented reality advancements which we all will be experiencing in the year 2025 and now guys finally our favorite rahu and ketu so in the month of may around may 19th only rahu is going to be transiting in the sign of aquarius and ketu is going to be transiting in the leo sign now guys the good part about this placement is that we cannot even overlook that this axis is little bit karmic in nature as well in the original kal purush kundli leo is the sign or fifth house is connected with the past life merits pur punya as well within the leo sign you will find somehow the own nakshatra ruled by ketu which is the magha in the aquarius you will find in the core in the heart of the aquarius you will find the nakshatra ruled by the planet rahu which is the sat bisha so that means somehow they have got very strong affinity whenever rahu is in the aquarius and ketu is transiting in the leo so that in itself means guys let's say for example if you have sown seeds for being recognized this year can grant you that sort of popularity that sort of fame if you are completely dedicated and devoted towards revolution i always get confused with this word revolutionizing the face of technology this year can give you a chance for that if you have those humanitarian intent to give back to the society make world a better place irrespective of judging someone's caste creed color bringing the world together this year can grant you that sort of platform that sort of voice that sort of position to influence or change the world and definitely guys with ketu's placement in the leo sign you will definitely have got some sort of expertise which you will demonstrate or manifest in your life in this year so guys after getting a brief idea about all the planets behaving in this year how our vedic uh, chatrashuk pratipada new year calendar calculation is predicting and also getting a brief idea from the synopsis from the numerology now we will shift our discussion customized to your rising sign and the yearly predictions for the year 2025 
So friends, now we will start our discussion customized to your rising sign for the Libra natives how 2025 is going to be treating you and before we will dive deep into all the individual aspect of your life I would like to wish all the Libra natives a very very happy new year. May all of you, your wishes come true this year. Okay guys now uh, to begin with what is the kind of theme which I have written for you guys after uh, meticulously observing how planets are going to be behaving this year on your chart. So um, year is forming a very alchemist combination of pushing your prospects from one trine house and being divine luck supported from another trine house. That means uh, Rahu from the fifth will push you towards venturing out into exploring different options and Jupiter in the ninth will support you over there. So the synopsis is that it's a good year for media, tech, healthcare professionals. The beckon of hope to the world will be shown by the Libra natives in 2025 because of Jupiter in the ninth and Ketu in the 11th. Now guys, uh, when we come to your first house, which tells about your health, which tells about your public image and which uh, tells about your overall attainment. So uh, the points which I have written, Ascendant will be receiving the aspect from planet Jupiter from May 13th, which will shower blessings and luck in the majority of the life's endeavors this year especially when we talk about your health and your public image now guys uh, specific months when your ascendant lord um, venus is going to be transiting and making conjunction with other planets and forming some yogas so the months of january and february your ascendant lord is going to be transiting from the friendly sign in the fifth house and then it is going to be getting exalted in your sixth house which is good for romance spiritual austerities speculative work artistic endeavor and also you might have cordial relations at the workplace now when we reach the months of march and especially april it is sensitive for health debts and conflicts because of the planetary concentration in the sixth house along with retrograde of your ascendant lord venus the months of may june july is good for commercial decisions research and matrimonial proposals august will be good for any travels learning program pilgrimage or visa immigration work the months of september and october are good for career progress monetary gains and reviving any old connections and finally the months of november and december are going to be filled with lifestyle expenses recognition and monetary benefits now guys when we will reach your second house which tells about your finances your family uh, bonding and all so um, the second lord is going to be spending a major amount of time till june hovering around your ninth and the tenth house which ironically takes your focus toward following dharma, taking a higher road and focus towards career. Again guys, it hardly matters like at the end of the day, there are like certain houses where planet somehow gain strength. We all talk about Saturn uh, being in the um, exalted, uh, in the Libra Lagna case, in the first house. But in the original Karl Purush Kundli, the first house belongs to Aries. So irrespective of what a Libra Lagna, Saturn being in the first house exalted, it does not give you an easy pass. The test, trials and hard work and the expectation somehow increases. Now guys, um, talking about your second house. So in the month of July, your second and the seventh lord will be in the 11th house conjunct with Ketu. Now this could be a time when a lot many people will get rewarded for the act of bravery or some sort of heroic acts. For some, this could be a abrupt endings or attractions in the matters of partnership because of some past looming issues. August and September will prove out to be expensive months October is good for commercial opportunities, 
personal branding and stern actions november and december are good for financial inflows now guys uh, the minute we will reach your third house which tells about your connection friendship your relationship with your younger siblings your initiatives all sort of self expression very important house for all the performing artists and self employed people so guys um, this house is going to be receiving the dual aspect this year which will ensure success in the matters of communication collaboration and new beginnings it's also very good year for the influencers self employed people and sales media professional now guys when we talk about the matters of the fourth house a very important house because this house tells about your capacity to invest in land in property doing construction vehicles inner containment you command and control over the public over the masses so uh, pertaining to the matters of your fourth house um, this is a good year for the loan credit mortgage approval for any housing or construction related concerns now guys when we talk about the matters of your fifth house uh, definitely guys um, this is the house which tells about your intellect um, it also tells about your academic pursuit spiritual interest most importantly the kind of thought which comes to your mind divine grace so uh, rahu's presence here after may 19th and jupiter's aspect in this house will strongly support tech media professionals rahu here will focus on poor punya past life credits on creativity good luck and children unlike to the advice of many astrologers speculation and trading when rahu either it is there in your natal chart in the 5th house or when transiting from the 5th house is like playing with the fire you have to be very careful like rather i would say that it is much better not to take big risk when rahu is transiting from your 5th house in the matters of stock market trading speculation and all now guys uh, when we talk about the matters of the 6th house uh, definitely this is a house which tells about your daily life your relationship uh, with your juniors your subordinates your maternal uncles aunts pets and all so um, your health and the concern of the debts so um, the points which i have written saturn's entry here after march 30 will pave path towards substantial development in your work life like you might also stand a chance for some big projects working on some big projects and all saturn represents responsibilities and for responsibilities to come you need to be um, elevated to a level where your answerability accountability and area of influence has to rise but yes guys um, saturn's transit in the 6th house will definitely uh, increase the burden of responsibilities as well um, it's a good news for students preparing for competitive exams and especially guys here i'm not talking about like for example in india giving a uh, upsc exam those kind of coveted exam for where you need you need to be at least putting like one and a half year two years and saturn is going to be staying in your sixth house for two and a half years so in that time if you are like uh, preparing or getting ready for those big exams and all saturn's um, placement in the sixth house make you very consistent enough for the attainment of your goals um along with that guys health needs to be monitored um rather i would say any minor trivial ailments should not be overlooked because saturn has this capacity to elongate the whole healing process so just because we do not want any slow uh, any small concern to become a chronic issue and all so because of which health needs to be monitored and rather i would say any minor trivial ailments or sickness should not be overlooked now guys uh, when we will reach the matters of your 7th house which tells about your public image daily income 7th house also tells about your like business partnership marriage concerns and all so the points which i have written uh, 7th house is uh, it's like uh, neither presided nor expected by any major planet rather 7th lord's movement is encouraging and supportive for the attainment of career goals like the way guys we always say this thing that uh, see mars in a year's transit uh, it generally covers like seven uh, houses or seven signs only in your case mars is going to be transiting or starting the year transiting like your 9th um, house 
uh, I would say to an extent 10th house and um, from the Cancer Gemini kind of uh, its movement and it is going to be ending the year in your uh, third house only but the good part is that when we talk about uh, from the seventh till the first house to an extent second and third house these are the houses which somehow stays in the visible range over where we have this capacity to take initiative and be on the front foot so because of which i would say this thing that it somehow is giving you an upper edge in order not to be um, in a passive mode rather to be in an active mode so again guys i will uh, summarize pertaining to the matters of your uh, seventh house Seventh house is neither presided nor respected by any major planet. Rather, seventh lot's movement is encouraging and supportive for the attainment of your career goals in 2025. Although Jupiter is not expecting seventh house, but its placement in the ninth house is slightly supportive for marriageable candidates, especially those who are like um, looking out or relying on the arranged marriage and all, where their parents have a major say on their decision making when it comes down to the decision of getting married so okay guys now uh, moving ahead to the matters of your eighth house uh, we all know that eighth house is the house of research um, any of the psychological problems and sudden transformative events in any of the like um, worshipful in any of the early transit we do not want this house to be disturbed or volatile now let's see how it is going to be working out for you. So um, this house will be receiving the third aspect of the planet Saturn after March 30, which will cease or reduce the possibility of any sudden unpleasing incident in your life. Eighth house seems to be supportive this year for research, manufacturing and psychology students or the professionals. Now guys, when we will reach your ninth house, um, so definitely this is the house of faith wisdom travels and um, you surrender to the divine will so pertaining to the matters of your ninth house jupiter's entry here will activate an auspicious 12 year cycle of fortunate events in your life very auspicious year for pilgrimages and religious austerities those applying for higher studies visa immigration and professionals like teachers, trainers, bankers, judiciary connected people gonna get benefited this year. Now guys, uh, when we talk about the matters of your 10th house, now in your case, in the 10th house, you will find the energy of the planet moon in the form of the cancer sign over there. So that means wheresoever your 10th lord is going to be transiting on those two and a half days in those zodiac sign, somehow your daily theme, your thought process is going to be governed by that energy. So guys, the points which I have written pertaining to the matters of your career or the 10th house, this year on a daily basis, you will experience major shift when your 10th Lord or transiting moon is going to be getting conjunct with Jupiter in your 9th house after May 13th, which means good news, epiphanies and fortunate events. It is going to get conjunct with Saturn in your 6th house after March 30, which means those two and a half days will be mostly connected to work related ideas, work pressure or health vulnerability. It is going to be conjunct with Rahu in your fifth house after May 18th, which means those two and a half days will spark some new innovative creative ideas or sudden attraction infatuation towards something. And when it is going to be conjunct with Ketu in your 11th house after May 18th, those two and a half days will be responsible for sudden breakthrough at work or this could be meeting unusual people. Now guys, uh, when we reach your 11th house, which is the house of group activities, your wish fulfillment. So uh, pertaining to the matters of your 11th house, Ketu in the 11th after May 19th can make you oblivious to the financial reward. Need for spiritual reward gets more urgent. So uh, that sense of soul fulfillment and 100% um, satisfaction matters a lot. Certain months like May and August, September could be extremely rewarding 
for some sudden emergence into limelight because these are going to be the months when your 11th lord planet sun in the transit is going to be dignified and we all know this thing we attract many past karmic relationship whenever like um, Ketu is transiting from the 11th house and in which all those months when um, like in your case uh, planet Mars like it is going to be getting conjunct with Ketu in the month of July so that could be a time when you could be a recipient of suddenly getting attracted into someone or attracting some past relationship in your life so this is how it happens whenever Ketu is transiting from the 11th house but again guys I will uh, still say this thing that um, when you have Ketu in the 11th house it actually forms the fame combination of the highest form so Ketu is a uh, planet connected with the flag flag is always anointed at the highest place in any institution in any building so I mean to say Ketu's transit from the 11th house can actually uh, give you a chance for uh, being rewarded for your contributions from the past so many lifetimes or past so many years I said lifetime because Ketu has got a account of all of your deeds from the past so many lifetimes now guys uh, when we talk about the matters of the 12th house all sort of investments we see from here foreign residentship expenses um, kind of you know spiritual retreat moksha all of that we see from the 12th house so pertaining to the matters of your 12th house Saturn's straight aspect after March 30 will keep the hidden enemies at bay your 12th Lord will be transiting from 4th and 5th house in February which will be good for travels to native place or spending on housing or car expenses so I mean to say when the 12th Lord is transiting from the 4th or uh, we can say this thing the 5th house in the month of February a lot many people who are already living in a foreign land and all they might be interested or kind of you know um, inclined towards traveling to their native place or spendings on the housing or car expenses the months of March especially April and May is sensitive for health as 12th Lord is debilitated retrograde and in a war zone in the 6th house 8th and the 9th house transit in the month of June of your 12th Lord is good for research and travels uh, 10th house and the 11th house transit especially at a time when the 12th Lord is going to be conjunct with Ketu in the months of July August and September is good for overseas exposure or implementing research work at your career um, October November and December months are good for public image um, investments and attracting some financial opportunities in your life so yes guys this is something which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of Vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my instagram account Dhaniwad.